क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच स्टेट दैट टू निगेटिव आइंस ईच कैरिंग चार्ज क्यू आर सेपरेटेड बाई अ डिस्टेंस डी If F is the force of repulsion between the ions, then the number of excess electrons on each ion will be. Now E is the magnitude of charge of electron, and K is one upon four pi epsilon naught. From the Coulomb's law, we can see that F equal to Q1 Q2 upon four pi epsilon naught r square. Okay, here r is given as d. And Q1 and Q2 are n. This n is the number of electrons. Okay. Now just put the values. What will be the f? F will be equal to n square e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught d square. After solving, we will get that n square is equal to f into d square upon k e square. Then what will be the value of n? This will be equal to f d square upon k square. Which option will be correct? Option number four will be correct answer. Now move to the question number seven, which states that a dipole of dipole moment five into ten to the power minus six coulomb meter is placed in a uniform electric field E equal to ten to the power five I cap newton per coulomb. If the angle between dipole moment and di electric field is 30 degree, then torque acting on it is. Now, dear students, just consider the situation that this is electric field that is 10 to the power 5 I cap newton per coulomb. Okay. Now, at 30 degree, let this is a dipole moment, and here angle is 30 degree. Now, what is the formula of torque? A torque equal to P E sine theta, and after putting the value, what is the P? P is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6. E is 10 to the power 5, and sine theta is 1 by 2. Okay. Now putting the values, we will get torque equal to 0.25 newton meter. Hence, which option will be correct? Second option will be the correct answer. Now move to the question number eight, which states that the unit of constant k is where k is one upon four pi epsilon naught. Now, dear students, as we know that from Coulomb's law, f equal to k q square upon r square. Now, what will be the k? K will be equal to f r square upon q square. Now, if we put the units of all quantities, then it will get a It will be newton meter square upon coulomb square. Which option will be the correct option? Option number four will be the correct answer. Now move to the question number nine, which states that four identical point charges, each of charge Q, are placed on the vertices of regular hexagon of side A, such that the net electric field. At the center of hexagon is zero. If one of the charge is now removed. Then the electric field at the center of hexagon is. Now, dear student, just consider the situation. This is the regular hexagon, and four charges are placed such that electric field at the center is zero. That means two charges will be opposite to each other, so that it's they cancel their electric field. Now, if we remove one of the charges, then what will happen? This pair will be cancelled, but this pair will not be cancelled. Hence, at the center, when this is removed, then electric field due to this charge will be in this direction. And what will be the value of this? This will be E equal to K Q upon A square. Hence, option number two will be the correct answer. Now move to the question number ten, which states that three point charges. Plus q, minus 3q, and plus 2q are placed in xy plane at points x equal to zero, y equal to a, x equal to zero, y equal to zero, x equal to a, y equal to zero, respectively. The magnitude and direction of electric dipole moment of the charge system are. Now, dear students, just consider the situation. This is the axis. Here, one charge is placed here. One charge is placed here, and One charge is placed here. Now, Q charge is placed at x equal to zero, y equal to a. That means here is plus Q charge, 
here is plus 2 q charge and here is minus 3 q charge now just break this charge as a minus q and minus 2 q then what will be the dipole moment this will give a dipole moment let p1 here this will give a dipole moment p2 and the net dipole moment will be in this direction let this is p then what will be the p since this p1 and p2 are at 90 degree then it will be equal to root of p1 square plus p2 square and just putting the value what will be the value of p1 that will be q into a that is q into a plus what will be the p2 that is 2q into a and after solving we will get the as a qa root 5 what will be the theta angle tan theta can be calculated as qa upon 2qa and here we will get tan theta equal to 1 by 2 that means theta equal to tan inverse 1 by 2 from positive x axis hence option number 3 is the correct answer